Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. If you enjoy today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. Today's video subject, Cat Won't Stop Scratching Neck, What Should I Do? Before we begin, let's first take a look at today's topic overview. Cats should wear an Elizabethan collar to stop them from scratching, biting, or licking their neck during the healing and recovery process. Making a loud noise whenever your cat attempts to scratch its neck can be a good temporary distraction. When most people think of cats and scratching, the topic rather naturally shifts to fleas and flea prevention. However, as you can tell from today's topic overview, this presentation won't be limited to just one specific cause such as fleas. In fact, any form of irritation is up for discussion as the reason why a feline would scratch its neck raw can be caused by many things, so many triggers. A few of the more notable reasons do include the fur around the neck growing back if the area was shaved, perhaps after surgery or another form of medical treatment, the skin could be quite sensitive. Next, we have the formation of scabs, potentially due to frequent scratching, and this one can be a very nasty cycle. An irritation leads to scratching. Scratching leads to an open wound and scabs. Scabs lead to discomfort, and discomfort leads to more scratching and more open wounds. Next, we have bacterial infection. Next, the more common, fleas, mites, and ticks. Proper treatment and future prevention methods can help to eradicate these issues. Next, we have the all-too-common allergies, food, dust, or environmental irritants. Next, we have an interesting one, throat discomfort. In some cases, a sore throat can cause a cat to scratch the skin around the neck in an attempt to remedy the issue. And our last common reason is pain-related stress. Some cats will scratch until they bleed if they're unable to cope with stress, anxiety, and high tension within their environment. So, as you can see, the reasons for intense neck scratching can be wide-ranging. This is why a proper diagnosis of the core issue if not surgery related and initiated, is so very important. In terms of prevention and protection, it's vital to address the issue as soon as possible. Continued scratching will only make existing discomfort that much worse, and the skin in question will never have the chance to heal properly. One of the primary ways that separation, if you will, from the claws and the neck is achieved is through neck protection and the cone even after all this time, is still one of the very best ways. With the help of a vet, the best collar for the situation can be applied without causing your cat major discomfort. The use of a standard Elizabethan collar or e-collar is common, while a bandage application in some cases can be used as an alternative. When it comes to collars, they come in various styles and types. Some are rather firm Elizabethan style, while others are almost like neck pillows. They bend and move relative to your cat's natural movements. They can even collapse when your cat is resting, essentially conforming to your cat's body while still supplying restriction and protection. Here again, the reason for your cat's neck irritation can and likely will play a major role when it comes to the appropriate measure of neck protection and scratch prevention. Before we close things out here today, please tell me your story in the comments section below. Helpful tips from personal experience always spark a healthy dialogue. If your cat's neck has ever become raw and irritated, for whatever the reason, please share the helpful scratch prevention and protection methods that were used for your pet. What you have to offer could be of great service to others. And if you would like more information concerning today's subject matter, specifically as it relates to neck protection, please click the initial link in the description box below and join us at SeniorCatWellness.com. And once again, feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if this type of content is of interest to you. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.